Hey, this is Rand from Fingerprints Music in Long Beach, California. We are uh, coming up on 25 years in business this July. So this is uh, this is not just Record Store Day's birthday; it's our birthday too. So we got we got plenty to celebrate. Um, we uh, I was asked to talk a little bit about kind of the connection RSD provides for music bands and shops like Fingerprints. Record Store Day started out to be a celebration of the culture of the independent record store. So. For us at Fingerprints, we've always taken that very much to heart, not just focusing on uh, all of the exclusive releases, which I think there's 400 or something this year, um, not just focusing on that, but also the things that we do all year long that I think you know you don't see in the big box stores, you certainly don't get by online, which is um, having artists in to perform, uh, talking about music, you, you know, that kind of one-on-one -on -one interaction is, is year-round, but, um, but a big part of our record store day will be in-store performances. Um, in the past, we've had Foo Fighters, uh, we had Al Jardine from the Beach Boys, we've had, uh, I, we've had a ton of them and it's late, so I'm not gonna try to remember them all, but, but it's a big part of our day. Uh, this year, we're, we're extremely excited. We've got the alarm starting our day off. We have Chris Shiflett from the Foo Fighters doing a, uh, uh, his country project, kind of outlaw country project. Uh, we've got Lowell Tolhurst from The Cure coming in to sign The Cure uh, record store day release. Uh, we're going to close the day out with John Resnick from the Goo Goo Dolls doing an acoustic set uh, celebrating the five disc uh, LP box set that they have coming out that day. So um, speaking of the Foo Fighters, probably our biggest uh, record store day event was the time the Foo Fighters played here at the shop, which uh, six years later, it's still the thing I get asked about more than anything else. So. Um, a big day, um, but but it's also a huge day. Uh, just hearing people talk about it, um, I'm amazed how often somebody will say, "Oh yeah, we met in line, and you know we get together now every record store day." So there's actually friendships that have developed that those people see each other once a year, and it's record store day. So so the, there's a lot of very special things that happen, and and, and I think we try to encompass all of that. You know all the the fun elements of Empire Records uh, to you know as much high fidelity as we can get away with, um, notwithstanding Jack Black's character. Um, and uh, you, you know that's that's kind of what it's about. So so it's a cool day to you know celebrate what we do all year long in a very concentrated, very uh, intense uh, I don't know, 18 hour, 16 hour kind of uh, time span. So. Hopefully you'll come out and join us. Record Store Day is April 22nd. Uh, it's Saturday. Uh, fingerprints will open at 6 a.m. Uh, and we're gonna go all until we can't go no more. Uh, so we'd love to see you. Um, as far as records we're excited about, um, obviously the artists we have coming in, the Cure Records, the Goo Goo Dolls, uh, the Alarm has a soundtrack coming out. So, so those are all gonna be huge for us. Um, and this year we were lucky enough to put together a compilation of uh, artists we love doing songs of Leonard Cohen. Uh, it's called uh, Like a Drunk in a Midnight Choir. It's a limited edition piece only available on Record Store Day and uh, we're gonna have a bunch but you can probably get it wherever your local shop is and uh, definitely ask them about it. So that's it. Thank you. Hopefully we'll see you on Record Store Day.